Hi, and welcome to the DrawPro segment on SDM or Subdata Memory. What Subdata Memory allows us to do is put a series of coordinates or waypoints on our workpiece such that if we're doing repetitive work, then we can duplicate the same piece with the same cuts and holes over and over again. Now there are two methods to inputting SDM coordinates. The easiest is to simply move the table to each position you want to input and then enter that waypoint as you move the table to each position. The second method for entering the SDM coordinates is from an absolute zero zero point enter the X and the Y coordinate of each and every point into the display while you're still holding at an absolute zero point. So we're going to go over each of these methods right now. Let's start out with the first method. With this method we're going to go to each and every waypoint and as we get to that point we're going to enter it into the display. I've marked the center point of our workpiece with a blue dot and for our purposes we're going to call this the zero zero point of our workpiece. So on our ES10 display it is in absolute mode and let's go ahead and zero out the XY coordinates. So I press X0 and Y0 and now my XY coordinates are set to zero zero. So we're going to be working from the center point of this dot on our workpiece. For my first waypoint, I want to move the table over to the right 20 millimeters. And I'm going to move my Y axis 20 millimeters also. Okay, so now we've got the table moved to the right and forward 20 millimeters in either direction. So I'm going to enter the SDM function by hitting the SDM key and it's asking me which SDM number I want to program. So let's go ahead and hit the number 1 and enter. And now it says SDM 1 and it is zeroed out the display. So let's go ahead and mark that down as SDM waypoint 1 and I'm going to move my y-axis 40 millimeters to the front Okay, so now I've moved to where I want the waypoint number two or SDM point two. I'm going to go ahead and mark that on my table. And now I'm going to go up to my display. And of course, it's 40 millimeters from the first waypoint. But again, I want to go, I want to input it into SDM two. So I'm going to arrow up on my keypad and you can see that I'm zeroed out. So now this is SDM waypoint two. Now for my third waypoint, I want my third waypoint clear on the other side here, 40 millimeters to the left of waypoint number two. So let's go ahead and move the table 40 millimeters to the right so that my drill bit moves left. And I'll go ahead and zero out at 40 millimeters. Okay, so now I've moved the mill over to the left 40 millimeters and I've marked my point on my workpiece. So I want to input SDM point number three into the display. So let's go over to the display. I'm still at SDM waypoint two. I'm going to arrow up. I'm now showing SDM three and there's X and Y points in there. So I want to clear those out. And now this accepts my present position on the workpiece as SDM point number three. Now for my final point, for SDM waypoint four, I want it to be 40 millimeters to the rear of where I'm presently at. So let's go ahead and move the table to that position. Okay, so now we've moved the table to the fourth waypoint. Let's go ahead and mark underneath there. And you can see now on our workpiece that we have point number one, two, three, and four. And this, of course, was our initial zero, zero point. So before we move the table again, let's go ahead and enter the fourth point into the SDM system. We're currently displaying SDM three. Let's arrow up. We show just values from a previously entered waypoint. So let's go ahead and 
zero that out on both axes. And now SDM4 is right under our current position. So again, one, two, three, and four on our SDM points and our absolute zero, zero. Okay, so now we've entered all four waypoints or coordinates into the SDM system for our project. Now, if we ever need to get back to an absolute coordinate system, all we need to do is press the absolute incremental key and we're exactly back in our absolute system. So just to check that out, let's go ahead and move back or center up our workpiece to a zero, zero point. Okay, so now I've brought the table back to displaying absolute zero, zero on the display and you can see that on the workpiece it is indeed it's back to the center point or our initial zero zero reference point. Okay so now I've demonstrated how to enter the SDM waypoints physically going to each waypoint and then entering that particular position into the keypad. But perhaps if we had a project that had a lot of different waypoints and it would just take too much time to physically go from one point to the next to the next, is there a different way to enter the coordinates? Well, yes, there is. And let's go ahead and explore that next. All right, so let's take a look now at a different way to utilize the SDM coordinate system. What I have here is our workpiece centered up at our zero, zero point. And rather than the previous visiting each and every waypoint, I want to enter the coordinates without having to move my mill or my workpiece. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it takes to accomplish that. We enter the SDM system by pushing the SDM key. It asks me for the first waypoint number. We key in one, enter, and it gives me some sort of a coordinate. This is not the coordinate that I want for my first waypoint. So let's go ahead and figure that out and then enter it. I already previously know that I want 20 millimeters off to the right and then 20 millimeters to the back. So let's go ahead and enter those coordinates. I press the X key. It asks me to enter the value. That's 20. And then you may think that you'd enter the enter key or rather you think that you might push the enter key, but that would be incorrect. To enter that value, we want to make sure and press the SDM key and there's the trick. So we press the SDM key and you can see that when we did that, that the value changed to a minus 20 and it might seem a little bit counterintuitive. The reason that it shows a negative value is that from this waypoint or point on our workpiece, where we're currently at is minus 20 or 20 millimeters to the left. So that's why it shows up as a minus 20 value. So let's go ahead and finish off entering that value for SDM waypoint uh, number one. On our Y coordinate, it's also 20 millimeters. So we enter 20 and then again, instead of the enter key, we enter SDM. Once again, it shows a minus 20 value, but again, as we return to our reference, our workpiece, we can see that from this waypoint, which we're describing as waypoint number one, our current position is minus 20, minus 20 to the rear of our current position. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and enter the rest of our coordinates. For waypoint number two, we toggle up until it reads SDM2, and then we enter our coordinate values. Again, X, is 20 and again we hit SDM to enter that value and for our Y coordinate since it's towards the front of the table we enter minus 20 and the way to do that is to press the Y key minus 20 and once again the SDM key so that's SDM waypoint number two let's go ahead and enter SDM waypoint three X minus 20 followed by the SDM key Y minus 20 followed by the SDM key 
Now we have waypoint number three programmed. And lastly, SDM4, we arrow up to display coordinate four. We enter minus 20 SDM. And then for our Y, 20 SDM. And now we have all four coordinates programmed. Well, that concludes the SDM memory feature. I've shown you both ways to use it, and now you can do it too.